So I am really interested in languages. I speak Portuguese, my, I'm Irish Brazilian, my mum's from Brazil, and I did French in school for GCSE. Uh, however, after that I didn't get to do it for A-level and I did business. So that gave me a bit of a push to go towards the business side of things in university. And Mandarin is such a good language to have alongside business, I thought. And I really wanted to challenge myself to try something new. And I find that East Asian culture, particularly Chinese culture, is so interesting. And I think it's really, really great to have alongside business. International business with Mandarin Chinese is a degree pathway uh, that can be taken at Queen's University Belfast, which combines modules in Mandarin Chinese uh, with other modules in a range of areas relating to global business, economics, strategy, and uh, many more. I would say I wanted to do a course of languages because it's always something I've enjoyed. Um, I also think just, just having a second language in your CV is a very nice thing to have. I just wanted to do international business in Mandarin, partly because I think it'd be useful for the modern day times of, you know, obviously a growing importance of China and people, of Mandarin speakers in general, but also just, um, you know, I thought it'd be a good challenge as well. So the course is great on the business side because it's quite broad. Uh, you get modules in different aspects of business, so a bit of accounting, marketing, economics and HR as well. And for the language side, I think it's really great having that alongside it. So it's about two thirds business, one third language. Um, and because it is a beginner's course for the Mandarin side, I think it was great having that from scratch and being able to build that up and even interlink it into my business classes as well. With a research background in foreign language education and internet media intercultural communicative competence, I am keen to help students not only develop their language knowledge and skills in breadth and depth, but also their int integrative skills fostered through community-based learning with intercultural communication and real-life experience. So learning Mandarin from scratch, you start at the very basics and while you're learning it, you're learning how to read as well as how to speak, which I think is really important. And you're learning how to write as well. So for my language learning, one of the key things was getting involved in Queen's University's Tandem Language Exchange, which is a language exchange programme where you can meet students from all across the world who are studying at Queen's, who speak a variety of different languages. And you partner up with them and you can exchange your language and cultural interests. So I met a lot of really, really friendly Chinese students who helped me a lot with my Mandarin learning and understanding the culture. And I helped them with their English or if they wanted to learn Portuguese as well. This program will support learners from the ground up. So there is no requirement for you to have any knowledge of Mandarin Chinese before you begin this course. So when I finish the course, I'd like to go into maybe banking, um, potentially asset management in London or New York. Um, obviously, no Mandarin is quite useful in that sort of situation because China's a great financial powerhouse. And um, it's just good to have your CV because it shows you have a good work commitment and also probably a good memorization. So uh, I think, yeah, that'd be useful for that as well. Um, so currently I'm looking into English as a foreign language teaching, potentially in China. Um, Otherwise, I really enjoy marketing, so also trying to get into marketing, especially in an international business and in the international context. Um, and it would be great to work with teams based in China as well. <laughs>